destruction, preservation, harmony, nihilism. If these terms don't make any sense to you, it's okay. We're gonna be going over every single class in Honkai Star Rail, as well as what to expect from them. So you can be armed with the information of what the classes do, as well as which sort of classes you should put together to make a proper team composition. And as always, the team you decide to use is ultimately up to you. So the focus of this video is to arm you with that information so you can make the most fun team that can still clear content in Star Rail. And there are seven total different classes or paths as they are called in Honkai Star Rail. Some will be focused on dealing damage to enemies, either single target or AOE, protecting your team either with taunting the enemies or reducing the damage they take, while some character paths will benefit your team with very strong buffs and also allow you to take extra turns, whereas others will inflict your enemies with very strong debuffs, either allowing you to surpass them in speed or overall damage done. At the end of this video, you should know which classes are interesting to you as well as which ones you're going to want to play with. The first path that you'll encounter and the first path that we're going to touch on is the destruction path. Characters of the destruction path prefer attacking in the front line. While the destruction path is still mainly focused on damage, you'll find many characters in this path have ways to self mitigate or boost their defenses. For instance, one of the first characters on the destruction path you will encounter is actually the main character of the game. And while they can deal damage to both single and AOE targets, they also have abilities that can help you with their technique to heal your allies outside of combat or boost their defense as you get them to Ascension 4. It's another destruction path character, Clara, has the ability to both counterattack enemies who hit her while boosting her own damage reduction and resistance to crowd control debuffs. So while characters of the destruction path may not be the highest DPS characters in Honkai Star Rail, they are going to be damage dealers who are also a little more sustainable than other character classes. Speaking of doing damage, our next path is the Hunt Path. The characters of this path focus entirely on doing as much single target damage as possible. If you're looking for someone to absolutely destroy a giant boss monster, look no further than the Hunt Path. Several characters of the Hunt Path are also very sufficient at farming or just being used in general. A fantastic example of a Hunt Path character is Sile, as they're able to increase their speed, take extra turns, receive extra actions, and have large damage multipliers on both their skills as well as their ultimate ability. Ability. Another example is Su Sheng, able to use her skill in ultimate to damage the enemy multiple times with her sword stance triggers, while also increasing her speed during weakness break of her enemies. Even Su Sheng's out of combat technique is damage focused, as you will automatically deal damage to all enemies as the battle begins, making her an excellent farmer and boss killer as well. The Erudition Path is very similar to the other two we just touched on, however, as a damage dealer, the Erudition Path excels on doing AoE damage, making them excellent at farming general enemies. And while they may not be as strong single target damage wise as the Destruction or the Hunt classes, they are still great overall as a damage dealer. Types of skills you can expect from an Erudition class are similar to those of Himeko, who's able to do AoE damage to enemies consistently and over time, whether it's with straight up damage or damage over time effects, characters of the erudition path are always going to excel against multiple enemies. So while they might not be doing the highest damage per second to a boss enemy itself, if that boss enemy isn't alone and has other enemies you also need to defeat, then the erudition characters are going to be fantastic for you there still. And as they do AoE damage, they're also pretty great at breaking shields so you can gain shield break effects. All in all, the erudition class is something you should not sleep on when making a team in Honkai Star Rail. But enough of damage, let's do something else. Let's talk about where the giant, big, powerful supports and buffs lie in Honkai Star Rail. And this is going to be from the Harmony Path. Characters of the Harmony Path forego doing a ton of damage in comparison to other classes, but instead will be buffing your team with insane buffs to further their damage even more. Types of skills you can expect from a Harmony Path character in Honkai Star Rail are those of someone like Rania, with skills like combat redeployment that dispels a debuff from an ally, advances forward their actions by 100% 
20% and increases their damage output. Or something like her ultimate ability, increasing the attack and crit damage of your entire party, and then further increasing Branya's crit damage even more. Branya's out of combat technique is also available to use to increase your attack before the battle even starts. Or someone like Ting Yun who has the ability to increase the attack of an ally while also granting them the blessing to do lightning damage every time they take an action. Or her extremely powerful ultimate that regenerates energy for an ally and increases their damage for a set duration. Characters of the Harmony Path and Honkai Star Rail offer up insane buffs for your teammates, so if you see one of these characters in your collection, give them a try, you won't be disappointed. The opposite of the Harmony Path in Honkai Star Rail is going to be the Nihility Path. Instead of buffing your allies, the Nihility Path is going to be focused on debuffing your enemies with various negative status effects, whether it's a debuff such as speed reduction, imprisonment, or defense break. Nihility Path characters are set up and focused to allow your other damage dealing characters in the party to do as much damage as possible. Characters like Wilt with the skill Edge of the Void who has the ability to do damage and also reduce the enemy's speed, or Pela who can do ice damage and reduce your enemy's defenses, allowing you to hit even harder than before, are shining examples of the Nihilism Tree. Just like the Harmony Path, the Nihilism Path is a very powerful thing and an asset to your party, so make sure you try some of them out. If you need a strong frontline character that can help protect your party from enemy attacks, then look no further than the Preservation Path. The Preservation Path is more in line with something you would think of as a traditional tank or knight in other games you may have played. For example, the fire version of the main character that you gain access to in Honkai Star Rail has the ability to buff up the defense of themselves, but also has the ability to likely provoke enemies to attack them instead of some of your other squishier party members. Or you can use their out of combat technique Call of the Guardian to start the battle with a shield that blocks damage based on your character's defense. Skills like the Fire Trailblazer's Ascension abilities, the Strong Defends the Weak, which reduces damage your allies take after your Trailblazer uses a skill, or the second Ascension Unwavering Gallantry, which will heal your Trailblazer when they use their enhanced basic attack. If you find an enemy dealing too much damage to your characters to the point that you can't keep up, a preservation character might be the ticket for success, so don't overlook this class either. Feeling a little down, then look no further than the Abundance Path to pick you back up. We've talked about different kinds of damage dealers, tanks, as well as supports, both offensive and defensive. However, when it comes to healing, the Abundance class is where you want to be. And healing is exactly what you can expect to receive from characters of this path. And while not as flashy as a character that can riddle your enemy with debuffs, or a character that can buff everyone to the sky or do a bunch of damage, look to the Abundance Path characters like Bailu, who has Singing Among Clouds and Leap of Marsh Drakon to heal your team back up. If you're looking for characters to heal your team back up, look no further than characters such as Bailu and Natasha from the Abundance Path. Mastering which path type characters you're going to be using in your party is going to put you on a straight and narrow line to mastering the beginnings of Honkai Star Rail. If this helped you guys out, make sure you leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.